Welcome back to Trek Yards, everybody. It's time to talk about ships. And we got a new ship in this latest episode of Lower Decks. Season 3, Episode 5, Reflection. Is it a new ship, though, Stuart? Didn't it come out in the 90s? It's one of the newer ships. Oh. Out of the, the, like, previous era of Star Trek. Yeah, yeah. It's the Delta Flyer from Voyager, everybody. It made a reappearance. It's the Rick Sternback designed, Rob Wontrian built, and goddamn beautiful Delta Flyer. Uh, not actually the Delta Flyer, but a subconsciously created Delta Flyer, which also means, Stuart, they could have caveated with getting details wrong. And we're obviously going to look at comparison in a minute, but I will say that this is a bloody good 3D model. Uh, and, and just from my preliminary vibe-wise, it certainly wins the vibe check. What do you think, Stuart? What does your gut say? Well, from what I've seen, it's very accurate. And I know Rutherford would have studied this thing, known an insider. Mm, he that's true. Had always wanted, he's always wanted one, so he would know the details down pat. So I mistakes being caveated, caveated as being in his mind, fine. But I don't really buy it with Rutherford, honestly. But yeah, I think it looked fantastic. It, I couldn't see anything wrong with it on screen. But uh, now it's time for Trek Yards to work its magic and do the side-by-sides. Yes, Brad so we'll and Mike sure. and all team. Hello. Welcome to Inquisition of the Delta Flyer. Because, <laughs> you know, we can do that. We love you guys. Yes. But no, this is one of those things where they they were allowed, as in with the confines of a TV budget, to do a hero model because obviously it's a smaller ship, which means they have to do more detail because they get closer and the things look more um, full when they're this small and the guy, as you can see, walks right up to it, and there's many walking around shots. So they obviously could and did and want to go full on. You can really feel it. So the first shot, I mean, fantastic. Uh, although the smallest of notes, I can say right from the out, is that for some reason there's a deflector glow without the deflector yeah, being I on. Yeah, that. Uh, Very faint, though. Very faint. But the, the deflector needs to be on for a glow, guys. So they, it probably just didn't turn on the deflector part of the layer of the... Small thing, but that is, a, that is a genuine oops. Oops, doodle. One of those he's so proud to have built it, it's just like, ah! It's got that like angel music behind it and just glowing everywhere. It's so like, illuminating. Ah. But I love the 3D depth of it. I mean, they've really captured like all the subtlety of all the little. It's wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. Yeah, the windows, windows look fantastic. That window detail is awesome. And I mean, it's not to say they didn't have perfect reference. They have the Egomoss magazines, they have, you know, other orthographical views. Like, this is a lot of reference. There was no. There's no reason it wouldn't be perfect. Plus, the Eagle Moss, I mean, right, it's an easy one to replicate. Fans have done it perfectly because they released orthographics. But something as simple as, like, that bottom block that you never think of, but that's actually really important because it helps to find the overall shape. That is their good job. Next shot, though, is a side back view. And this is not a, a, a same sort of hero shot. And once again, the glow layers are not on. Looks like they've been reversed because... I'm not really sure what Borgy. I mean, we'll see in a minute a comparison, but it's like, huh. So I think they might have mis misrendered it slightly. The glows aren't actually glowing, but the reaction to the glows are glowing. I think it looks cool. I mean, this was this was the kind of transitioning from the shop to the space lane to the raceway thing. I, I did notice the green glow, and I thought that was nice because that is the Borg tech in there. But it's not really glowing, as you said. It's kind of a weird. But it looks fine. It looks animated. <laughs> yes. Everything else looks yeah. really, really good, but that I'm, I'm noting is lovely. That doesn't, doesn't look or feel right. But let's do a direct comparison, Stuart. Now, this one, when I rendered it, I was like, holy mother of. Um, because A, when you can match an angle almost perfectly, um, you know they've done good. So this is obviously the Hero Delta Fly from Voyager, match angle, match lighting. Thoughts? Okay, well, which is which? Which is which? That's how... I mean, I know. That's, I have to ask the question. I know you know, but which is which? I can't tell, actually, which is I mean, the You animated. can tell based on what we were talking about, Stuart. Oh, well, the upper left is the animated. Because they mess up the deflector, yeah. We've, now we see what they've done. The deflector isn't on. They've just they've just, they've just, just not done the deflector there, which is that's a surrender error. I mean, they obviously knew, um, as in, they obviously, they should have been there. Oops. Although it's weird, you can see the, the front texture is just wrong. They've curved it for no reason. Oh, yeah, Something yeah. Something as simple There's as that is just wrong. There. And yeah, the real one feels more like the front of the Defiant, the front part of the Defiant. It's got that kind of look and shape. And the Delta is slightly smaller. The Delta and the pinstriping. Yeah, that's definitely smaller. And they're missing tiny details, but that's because it's already so highly detailed. 
but it's I mean extremely close, extremely good. I mean to the nth degree. This is easily a nine out of ten, if not nine point five. It's just when you're pointed against the real one in the same lighting, it's like, yep, those are the three things you got wrong. But boy, it's good. And yet all the fonts they got wrong. You can see the Delta fly flies in the wrong placement, wrong size, and the registry numbers of the wrong font. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> Other than that, yeah. it's, it's like ninety six point eight percent. Yes, and and it even f it. And I think we said earlier this feels almost too good for the animated show with how highly detailed the texturing is. It's almost past their quality level. You know, like I wish the like the... I said, I could. I had a hard time telling the differences which one was yeah. which. Well, I tried lighting pretty pretty similar. Like I, I really wish the three dose was this level, like bump up the quality a bit more. But it's a much bigger ship. You get away with it. But yeah, this was really really well done. Now the back view, you can kind of see what I mean about the uh, the the ball glows. Like there isn't any parts glowing yet. And yes, I guess you could argue there's a plate that's raised and alongside the room of the plate is a light. But a that's not what it was. And b it doesn't look right. Whereas there are just little spots of green inside uh, greebling, which you can see. Well, I kind of like the the green glow of the the animated one. Yeah, actually. it's animated. -y. But, yeah. Uh, the only thing that's different here for me is the plating, um, the actual detailing on the hull. Well, it has none. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but other than that, I mean, impulse engines look great. The 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 door, the ramp looks good. Bloody beautiful. Wow. Yeah, and you can see the gravity panels are correct. Like if you look close at the top, they are there. They just there's just a yeah. render error happening or a weird aesthetic choice. Um, and it's weird that they actually tone down the pinstriping for the animated. Usually animated kind of exemplifies or like you know, shows those off a bit more. Yeah. You can't see on the left. This is how subtle. How are you not seeing on the left? You should see on the left. Huh. Yeah, I don't know. That is weird. But apart from those things, <laughs> bloody beautiful. Uh, now the next shot is them being cheeky MFs. Because we have this glorious close-up, and it's so closely uppy. This is what I mean by them justifying the high level of detail. Because this meant they had to go full on, and and again, stark night of stark light of day. You can see um, the differences and similarities. I'm dis disappointed in the Delta Flyer um, font. Honestly, the, the, I love the Y on the actual Delta Flyer. Um, they just use something similar esque, like even the the. The D is quite a bit off. I thought it looked a little wonky, but I wasn't quite sure. Now having them side by side. And I wouldn't wow. even associate the bottom one with being how it was texted, but I mean, that is the real model. That is the canon. Uh, the, the one on the top feels more like the Galileo, which was, in my mind, I associate with being sort of very handwritten calligraphy. That's what that vibe's like, but it turns out it's not what it should look like. I've entirely missed the boat. Placement, size, vibe, font, entirely wrong. And I mean, fonts either right or wrong, really. Um, oops. Oh, and they've ah, oh, Stuart, they've missed the black outline on the on the delta on the pinstriping. Damn it, guys. <laughs> That's okay. Don't worry. <laughs> it makes it a little harder to see. A little harder to see, but. Uh... Oh goodness. But I mean, in the ninety-five percentile percent percentile, um, beautiful, beautiful. I, I mean, I could sense the three Dness was so. Good on those window details. But what really doubly impressed me in the next picture, this is them showing off. <laughs> the Greebelies. The Greebelies are all accurate. Or Nernies. Some people call them Nernies in model building. I mean, yeah, Nernies uh, are physical, but... Greebelies are such CG. Yeah. I mean, wow. in physical model building, they're both. They're both physical, obviously. But yeah. yeah. But I mean, this is. No one would ever see this. Because this is ridiculous. I mean, that is, they physically had the Eagle Moss XL, and they're like, right, we're going to model this in. Which makes it, this is what we say about judging low decks. They got the font just wrong. They got the no one's ever going to see them Greebly is entirely right. Yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> Weird. And because they ran out of time, this would take more time than to research the correct font. You know what I mean? And they could have emailed Rick. Like, they could have literally emailed the guy who made it. Um, but, I mean, that is an insane level of detail. Yeah, I mean, insane level of detail. Um, so yeah, just go back to the first picture. Just really incredible. We have found all the little flaws of it. 
and the reflector not being lit is definitely one of them. Now we know how it's meant to look. Um, we got to compare the inside next. Uh, yeah, that'll be a whole thing. Because that that felt less accurate to me, but also they tend to go close ups to the Delta Flyer, so I don't even know if I know vibe wise what the ceiling feels like. Yeah, that that'll be a that'll be a that'll be a troll for episodes. To say right, let's find the one frame. Jesus. Yeah, that'll be difficult to do. But, I mean, if you guys are interested, comment down below. Say you want the interior. We'll definitely think about doing it. Um, but yeah, beautiful. Yeah, so Beautiful, beautiful masterpiece of design, except those five things we found. Which you know about as well. It's okay, Brad. It's okay. All right. On that note, comment down below what you thought about this ship being in the episode. Uh, did you notice any of these little small changes? What do you think of our breakdown of it? Um, we want to hear your thoughts. So comment and make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Click the notification bell icon so you don't miss anything. And by all means, hit that like button, please. That means a lot. As do super thanks, which you can do on this video. But if you want to participate in more real time, you can join us on a live and do a super chat. This is where Samuel takes over. He's super right. Because those really help the channel immensely. Or join the channel. There are many membership options. They'll get perks. All the Patreon, which is monthly. Or one-time donation. All the show costs at treadyards at hotmail.com. Or buy merch down below. Shirts and towels and other fun things like that. Or just like and subscribe. Make sure the bell notification is clicked. And just keep watching our videos. If you like Lower Decks, then go back and watch the Season 1 and Season 2 content. And if you're looking forward to Picard or Stranger Worlds or Prodigy, then tune in. Because we're gonna when they air, we're going to air right with them. So until next time, all I can say is wokey dokey, guys. You did a good job. I am Captain Foley. Yeah, I, I agree with that. Yeah. I'm Connor Cogans. Yeah. Good job. I agree with that too. Mm. Bye, guys. Bye, everybody. <laughs>